What's up, everybody? I'm Sniggenhoff, and we're back once again playing some more Oman in EU4. Uh, going for the third way achievement on the last episode, we took a lot of land from Hormuz. A lot of land from Hormuz. And unfortunately, I probably should have tried to take these so I could have expanded this way some. But I could fabricate a claim over here on Qatar. So maybe we can use that to get to war with Dawasir. Um, why is my outliner closed? Let's go ahead and start doing that, actually. Other things we need to start doing is building a navy, but currently we have basically no sailors. Um, and the nobles want some lands. I suppose we should give it to them. They want 10%. That would be 18%. Alright, the 221 is at 10%, so let's give them that. Oh, they now can have 90% uh, influence. I should have seen that. What is falling off soon? Three years diet held is falling off. But that's not fast enough. Let's see when this is going to spawn. Probably pretty quick. May have to revoke that from them here in a year. Yeah, that's gonna spawn in 1464. Whoops! That's fine. It's not the worst thing in the whole world. Struggle of power. Uh, 30 towards legalism or 30 towards mysticism. I think we can sack some legitimacy here. Get a little bit more mysticism. A little more missionary strength. So I actually feel like 66 months is a bit more reasonable for doing that. And. <sighs> This dip, whether we take this Diplotech or not depends on what idea group we want to go with. I think in the last episode I talked about possibly doing trade, possibly doing like religious, but I think we want to do a military idea group first. So yeah, we'll take the tech. And we probably need to start looking at developing the Renaissance soon-ish. But I think we want to wait until after we get the admin tech. So, let's chill on that for now. How many dudes am I below the troop limit? Also, I'm on speed 5. I can probably slow down from speed 5 now. I can build three more dudes. Let's do that. Um... I want to see if these Hosley's Separatists split off. If they do, that's a fun little war we could declare. Jump across the, the, the pirate coast, the Bay of the Pirate Coast over here. I don't know what this this bay is actually called. I know this whole thing is the Persian Gulf, but I'm sure this has a name. So, we haven't completed any of these. The ones most likely will complete our large city and embrace the Renaissance. Foreign theologians and live in scholarship. 15 towards legalism or 15 towards... Oh, it's 15 towards legalism either way, but this one gives me admin points. So, yeah, I'll take that one. That slows down my, uh, my conversion, unfortunately, but... Now I'm going to take like seven years. Good lord. Can we revoke this yet? Not until March. Ulima losing power. Alright, that's fine. Dawasir declared war on Hormuz. Actually, if they were to take this land, that would be good for me too, because then I could, you know, reverse, reverse invade them. Uh, no, you may not have military access. Oh, maybe I should have given them military access so they can get to the capital. But I don't want them taking... I don't want them taking this. I can't, however, make a state. I think I will do that. 
You want more lands. Yeah, that's not happening. that. Okay. How long till we get this tech? 1472? 10 years? Okay. I didn't realize it was going to be quite that long. And I think we are going to try to develop the Renaissance now. Um, where's the button? Development costs. And then also this button. Another negative 20 development cost. Plus one random development here. Did it count towards the Renaissance? No, it did not. So this should have... Invited minorities and... Development costs. Start off with the admin because I have less of it. Okay, got about 50%, 25% of the way, quarter of the way. Improvements in government technology. Give me more admin. Ottomans are in a golden era, and we're about 10 development off of getting a large city. And I feel like that spread is really low, but maybe I'm just spoiled from some of the other campaigns I've done. Six, please. Yes, seems good. What else are we trying to do out here? Yep. You know, seeing as how I built that building, probably pushing this button would have been fine too. But I am trying to develop, and those do cost. Okay, so I need like all of your uh, all of your things to fall off. Wow, Hormuz just like reverse swept Dar Dawasir. Are you guys allied with somebody? Not really. Hadramut, where are they at? They're down here. Hormuz just did some stuff. Oh, and I got caught. Didn't even see that. Um, how are we. How are we doing in, as far as generating Monarch points? We are not generating Admin points. That's why it was going to be so long. I probably should hire some advisors, especially an Admin advisor. Uh, National Tax Dude or National Unrest Dude? I don't think I'm going to have much problems with Unrest right now. Trade Efficiency Guy seems good. Give me some more manpower. Alright, so my income falls a little bit, but I will start making a lot more uh, Monarch points. Let me wait till next month so I can hit this button once and then... Um, military access from the Timberids. You want me to fight the Timberids? Ugh. money, create a proper fleet. I actually do want to create a proper fleet. Fire this guy. So I can continue making money. And I'm going to sit on my side of the straight. A lot. Oh, only Sins joined in? Okay. Okay, that's much less, much less bad. I, it showed that they were allied to a bunch of other dudes. I got very scared. 
including the Timurids. Uh, but can I even get over there at the moment? I'd need military access through Hormuz. I need to get an, uh, get a navy up and running. The Timurids. Timurids are fighting Hormuz. All sorts of things going on in this part of the world right now. that fort, so you can tell it's right next to my capital fort. Um, I probably need to start building a navy. threatening countries, I guess. Trade crisis. Lose trade efficiency. Lose 25% trade efficiency or 10% trade efficiency. What is that? Maybe that was bad. I may start losing money now. Almost halfway there. No, not quite losing money. I don't think I can call a diet with them just yet. Because I need to give them land. Call a diet is going to give them influence as well. Okay. You still want 10%, right? So we'll increase their influence to 75%. Okay, so they don't quite have 10% yet. Okay, so their influence to 81%. When do they have another modifier falling off? 1468 and 1467. Probably having to wait till then. Okay, go ahead and give me the military support. I need to give them 20%. That would increase it to 77, but I don't really want to give them that province. Seventy-three. Seventy-nine. I can revoke one of them later. Maybe both of them later. Because they technically don't need any. Well now they want 10%. A second ago they didn't want any. Okay, allies losing a war, our dude that we want to conquer land from is losing a war. I am technically losing a war, but 
Not really getting hit by it. Who is my who are my rivals at the moment? Almaz is still my rival. Why'd you give me military access if I'm a rival? That seems dumb. And we lost our general. Muhammad Murad, controversial protectionist. Since Muhammad Murad started providing advice for the trade developments in Oman, internal trade has been strengthened at the cost of curtailed imports and increased state regulation. While their decisions to improve infrastructure have been appreciated, recently, recent suggestions have caused many influential people to question their philosophy. They argue that the um, imam, imam is taking Muhammad Murad's advice too readily, and that we should look for mutually beneficial deals with other nations rather than seeking to dominate every area of trade. Two mercantilism, but we lose ten legitimacy, or he leaves our court. I'll take mercantilism. Give legitimacy a reason to tick up. What kind of ships are these? The trade ships, okay. Marital bliss. Thirteen ducats or five prestige. I'm gonna take them ducats. Take them nuggets. Yeah, I can uh, push these buttons some more. Sixty five per cent. One away from fulfilling an uh, age thing. You know, the age things. How much do these cost? 20. 20 ducats. I'm sorry, Baluchistan. I'm working as fast as I can. And Mahra's getting attacked as well. This whole region is just in complete and total upheaval. The Ottomans, despite their nerfs, are still looking rather strong. What else is happening around the world? Did you guys take the... Uh personal union you did not no but you have a no oh yeah you have a, a dude all right that should be in muscovy uh runs rampant over here france won the surrender or i think england just surrendered maine to them i can't remember how it, what all went down you have not gotten the iberian wedding yet but you have integrated navarra have a rebel uprising in Kwasim. Kawasim. Well, rip Baluchistan. Sorry, guys. It's not my fault. I literally can't get to you. Harvest failure. Ugh. Local goods produced go way down. I need to know how this war turns out. All right, Mult Multan uh, left the left the war. It's a small ray of sunshine there for Baluchistan, 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 Baluchistan. Now I've got myself all confused over which is which. So the Timurids are uh, their empire fell apart a little bit. They still have Fars. Which I have no clue where they're at. Oh, there. 
Returning Scholars. Um, we've had this event a few times before, and I think I'm going to move towards mysticism. This is a big fight right here. Oh, it looks like the Lucha Stamp pulled it out. Now that that has fallen off, I can certainly give them at least another province. Will this put them to 10? Yes. That's not gold, is it? No, that's copper. Okay. left. And they came back. Alright, I got one province over. And now I'm stuck on this island. Which is great, seeing as how I have a rebel uprising happening soon. Fart nuggets. Can, however, do this. Seventy-five percent. Getting there. Oh, they gave up and they gave stuff to send. Rip. And Hormuz canceled my military access. And with apologies to Baluchistan, we're going to end that episode right there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Um, should I pour one out for my fallen ally here? I, I really wanted to help him. I really did, but I got blockaded. I don't have a, a navy yet. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so much, and I will see you next time.